You got a screw on the back side here and here. Take those out. Disconnect your wire. Find you a socket that'll fit this and break it loose. Yeah, I've already went through all this. To get it broke loose for the video. Make it quick and easy. And then you got a gear puller that you put on here. I'll show you how how well it works. I don't know. How, I, I got it from Harbor Freight. So we'll, we'll see if it works. Okay, so here's the issue I ran into. If I put them where they're supposed to be straight across, the holes are spaced too far apart to match up with those. So what I did, I put a, a flat, I guess you, usually it's a cone piece, but I put the flat one in there and it's offset just a little bit. I tightened everything up and I was able to still break it loose. So it still did work, but not perfectly. Yes, I know somebody that is going to be an eagle eye and say, yep, guess what? You don't have the steering wheel straight. It's not going to be straight. Well, my wheels are straight. That's how out of alignment the steering wheel is. So I'm going to make it work. Okay, the Grant steering wheel kit comes with a new spring in here and a new wire. And this piece of plastic's got little nubs on it. A lot of people don't use them. I'll show you how the new one goes in. It's got a different end on it to match your steering wheel horn button. Okay, here's your old one and the new one right here. See, the ends are a little bit different and the plastic's a little different. It's for your horn. I don't know the reasoning behind why they changed the way it's designed, but they sent it with the kit, so it must be made that way for a reason. And you take it and reinsert it back the same way you took it apart. It's as simple as that. Push it in, twist it to the right a quarter turn. I like to go ahead and get two of them in there so everything's lined up properly. Then take this and run it down tight. That way everything's, you know, sorted. I'll show you in a second here why. Okay, so see, now that I've taken these bolts back out and this had already been installed, they'll hold their position so I'm not fighting with it in a few minutes. Next thing I do, got to do is put this on there, line it up, get all the holes lined up, and then put the bolts in that I just took back out. Okay, now that I have that on there, you can go ahead and tape and tighten down these bolts. Get that out of the way. Get them all snug. Make sure everything is seated good, and then tighten down this right here get them all torqued down and the reason for the plastic piece being shorter with the package you see that's flush with the steering wheel it wouldn't allow you to hit the horn if you still had this long one in there the factory one so that's why they give you that in the package okay hook up your wire put this on there pray it don't move you got three little notches It'll line up with the three points. See the little grooves? See if I can do it with one hand without the spring going goodbye. Could do that again if I tried. I usually can't do it with both hands. Look at that. Got it. Yes, another horn ain't blowing because the horn ain't under the hood. 
I'll put a new horn later. But the reason it's crooked, it still needs alignment. I know somebody's going to say something, but it's okay. It's in there. And the way the adapter in the middle was made for the wire for the horn, it had to be positioned like this. But I can get, my knees have so much more clearance now to get in and out of here. So that's good.